Hello everybody, it's Pun, and I have a tutorial for you, and this is going to cover OBSBOT and Stream Deck. They have an integrated plugin that allows you to control all of their cameras, and I'm going to show you how you can install the Stream Deck plugin for OBSBOT, and then set it up for your different cameras. I have a couple of different OBSBOT cameras myself, including the Tiny 2 and the Tail Air, and I'll show you how to install it, how to set it up, and then how to use the plugin for Stream Deck. Or your workflows with OpSpot for recording, controlling the cameras. So let's get into the video. All right, so first of all, let's talk about how to get the Stream Deck plugin set up. Okay, so now we need to install the OpSpot plugin. So to get there, we need to open up the Stream Deck app, and then we'll go to the marketplace by clicking on this little icon here. When you click on it, you will open up the marketplace and then you can simply just do a search for OBSBOT. And it will pop in under the plugins there. Obviously you can see that it's free and you just click on it and then get. And when you do that, you'll need to sign in uh, to your account and this will be added to your cart. Again, it's free, so you don't have to pay for anything, but this is how you download and get it installed. All right, so once you get it and then you install it, then what you should see once it's installed is you should have this OBSBOT webcam pull down menu on the right side of your app where you can then set buttons. So let's set a couple buttons. It's really easy to do. So simply left click and dragging, uh, you can go and you can set a parameter for say set webcam, go in, select the camera you want. We use tiny two here. And then you, this is used for uh, turning on and off different modes and things like contrast, that sort of thing. Uh, zoom, for instance, you can do that. You can turn on the sleep and resume. You can do the different AI modes. This is primarily what I use this for, for these settings. So let's just set a zoom, all right? And you can set a specific value. Uh, for instance, like right there, let's set that right there. So if I wanted to do a zoom of 18, I got a button there. You know, obviously you can uh, you know, type this in as a title of your button. And you can adjust as things as necessary to get it to fit. You can orient it where you want it. There you go. So for instance, that's Zoom 18. For adjust webcam, this is where you're going to fine tune parameters. For instance, if I wanted to do a, you know, set a, uh, let's do here, let's do a saturation. And if I wanted to add plus one or, you know, plus five up to plus 50 on saturation, then I can do that. Let's add a plus five. So every time I press this button now on my stream deck, it will change and increase saturation by five steps. You could do this for saturation. You can do it for uh, contrast, for hue, uh, for compensation, those sort of things. Really easy to do. You also have a third set of buttons, the reset buttons, where you can go in and set different, you know, reset like zoom parameters to back to default. I use this mainly for gimbal reset because you know I'm controlling the gimbal uh, functions of the Tiny2 and the Tail Air using the Stream Deck oftentimes. And the gimbal reset gives you a nice uh, you know return feature uh, once you're done moving the camera around and you want to return it back to a base position, you can use that gimbal reset. You can also do all properties. If you want to reset the camera back to default, you can use this too. Uh, but that is simply how you set up uh, these buttons. You can go in and you could, uh, you know, just load a bunch of them up and uh, to get the uh, spots filled and then go in and adjust the settings as necessary uh, to do whatever you need to do, you know, and, and you have it set up. Now, let me show you exactly how I use Stream Deck in my own workflow with the OBSBOT cameras. All right, so I use Stream Deck in a couple different ways. I have the Stream Deck Mobile that is controlling things like contrast, compensation, saturation. Here I can fine tune things by pressing, you know, things up and down. I can adjust, you know, the camera qualities and how the picture is going to look and do fine tuning as necessary. I also use Stream Deck Mobile to control the movement functions and preset positions and zoom, that sort of thing for each of the cameras. This is a page that I've got set up for the Tiny 2. It's blue, which also matches the color here on the Stream Deck Plus. 
And then if I wanted to control the tail air, I have a page setter for tail air with basically the same functions where I have gimbal controls and I can adjust the gimbal up and down or I can, you know, re recenter everything or I can zoom if I want to zoom in. I can do that. And the same thing for Tiny2. I have the same functions in Tiny2. So I can control the gimbal in Tiny2. I can do, you know, resets. I can put the Tiny2 to sleep if I wanted to. And I can wake it back up. I hope, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why it took so long. Uh, you know, I can control the AI. I can turn AI on and off. I can do hand tracking, for instance, if I wanted to do hand tracking. You know, it would track my hand. And I could turn it back off and go back to a preset position. And all done on the Stream Deck app. Now, what's advantageous about having Stream Deck Mobile, which you can get for a monthly or yearly subscription, you definitely save a lot more money doing a yearly subscription. And I think it's like 25 bucks a year. It's nothing crazy. And you can do this on Android and Apple iOS devices. The Android obviously does not work as well as the iOS devices. They definitely did a lot more with iOS devices. But in August, the Android app should come up to par with iOS devices. I got that directly from Elgato's president. So he told me in August, we should be seeing an Android update. But right now, even with this current version, Obsbot plugin works great. So I have this and I can move this around and walk with this and it's not tethered by USB. I'm using Wi-Fi. So it really works well with Tail Air because Tail Air is Wi-Fi also, right? And I can use NDI or I can use it through virtual camera, which is actually what I'm doing right now. And you can use the mobile, Stream Deck mobile to control the camera outside anywhere in your house as long as you can get it on wi-fi and you have a good solid signal you have a nice mobile solution for controlling tail air using stream deck mobile on a tablet or you know mobile phone so think about that it's really nice uh, oddsbots plugin is a well-designed plugin it's easy to install easy to set up pretty intuitive and the fact they've added all the icons in automatically uh, and they key it, key it by color, you know, for whatever camera you're using, uh, it, it really is nice. And Ozbot's done a great job. And the fact that, you know, it's part of the Elgato Stream Deck ecosystem makes it even better because if you're streaming, most likely you have a Stream Deck of some sort that you can incorporate this plugin for free, no additional cost. So go out there, try it in the marketplace. You know, see how you can incorporate it into your own workflows. And I'd love to hear just how you do it yourself. So let me know. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching again. Thanks, Ozbot, for all the wonderful cameras and, you know, just continuing to kill it. Love you guys. And I hope you uh, found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications. You'll know when I have a video that goes live. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you later.